I've been playing Joe since like last summer, and like I still just don't know how to get around his cigar. Like every other cigar on the East Coast, I can manage to handle. But it's like against him, it's like everyone else is like down here, and he's like up here. Like his guessing game is so fucking good. I just can't like. So you played him. I've played him a lot. The last time I beat him in 20 was like at NEC in December with Bison. And like, since then I made the switch to Rock. And like, I really, really haven't like played against his cigar as much. Because he lives all the way in Long Island. So, you know, it's hard for me to get in games with him. And I'm from Bro the Bronx in New York. So like, yeah, pretty much are like random gatherings that we should show up to and he just manages to show up when he has the time. But it's like, it's hard, man, because like his guessing, he can guess right so well. I made the switch because I figured Bison wasn't exactly going to last as long in like the top tier. Because like, I'm just going to be honest, I am a tier whore. I play whoever's good in the game, whatever. But I do like Rog. I do like Rog as a character. Like, I just felt like his options and his ability to combo into Ultra are so much better than Bison's. Bison can't deal with a lot of cross-ups. He has no way to get out of it besides like teleport or cycle pressure. But it's like the only way I can land Ultra with Bison is if I hit jump strong into Ultra, juggling it. With Frog, you know, he has a bunch of million different ways to combo into Ultra. So you know, you get one lucky headbutt, you're in. It's a big impact, but at the same time it really isn't because the balance in this game is so good where almost anybody can win at any moment. Like, you know, where take can win, he has the run stop pierce loop. Um, uh, like, I think Cammy can win also from the console characters. I think she's pretty good. She has a good ability of winning. And like, you know, the lower tier have the element of surprise because nobody's willing to play them and invest the time to win with them. Even though they have all this really, really good stuff, but like, the top tier characters do have a little easier. I mean, you look at a character like Crimson Viper. She was considered probably one of the worst characters. And, like, she started blowing up in Japan pretty big. And, like, Kid Devil basically made her, like, into an S-tier character in Japan. And nobody really knows how to beat it yet. No, not Ruby. Actually, Vega. Vega is the surprise pick. Because I play online against Tatsu from SoCal. And his Vega is so... He knows the matchup against Rog so well. He knows how to punish. He knows how to do everything perfect with that character. His defense, his tech throwing game, so good. And I think right now, him, he's the big surprise at Evo to me. He's my pick. He's my pick. As a kid, I started playing Street Fighter 2 at a video store that was like not even a two minute walk away from me. It was like right there downstairs. And I started playing World Warrior and I just got addicted. And I like had my first win streak with Chun just doing like spinning bird kick anti-air all day. It was like five wins. I'll take it. And I just got hooked to it. And like as I was, I was growing up in like junior high school, I discovered other arcades like Neo Crash in the Bronx, uh, the Q Lounge. Like it was there was a lot of places where you could play, but like now started declining heavily because you know consoles started catching up with the technology that arcades were based off of and pretty much I ended up at Chinatown Fair because at the same time too I wanted to play the best in New York. I have played Justin a lot in Super Turbo, I have played Justin a lot in Street Fighter 4. My first match against him when CBS2 first came out in New York was against Justin Wong and <laughs> that was a pretty fun match because like we didn't know what to do exactly like he pretty much had a concept already of the game's engine and everything. I just came in, I wanted to play the game because, you know, it was the new game. And everybody was going to jump on it and get good. But uh, he just... It was a close match, too. And he managed to edge it out, and like... I never really spoke to Justin or any of the top players like that, because... As a kid, I was pretty much shy. Like, this right here, me standing in front of the camera, that wasn't me back then, either. I was camera shy also, so like... You know, it took me a while to start talking to everybody, getting into the scene and whatnot, and trying to make a name for myself. I started playing. I was getting somewhere with CBS2, but you know, real life situations happen all the time. Where you can't play games every day. So you know, I just decided, you know, I'm back. Minus new game, fresh game, Street Fighter 4. I'll take advantage of it and get good now and keep up with everybody. It was too shy because it's like, 
you grow up watching these videos of all these players, like Faye, Sanford, Arturo, Justin, and you're like, man, I wish I could hang with those guys, because, you know, they're really fucking good at their game, you know? And it's like, they're chill guys also at the same time, so I got no beef with them at all. They're good people. They accepted me. All right, let's go.